Welcome to my channel Crochet Skills. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the ribbon stitches. There are many types of ribbon stitches, so we will discuss in this video three types of ribbon stitches. Let's start with the first. Make a slip knot and chain 11. Make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Work one single crochet into all the next stitches, so we have total 10 single crochets. Now let's start. Chain 1 to begin next round. Turn the work and work into this first stitch. There are two loops on this stitch. So we will work in the back loop of the stitch and work a single crochet. Into the next stitch again work one single crochet into the back loop. So this is how I will work all the stitches only with the back loop. Just keep it in mind that we are working in single crochet and the second thing to remind is we are working in only back loops. We will not increase any stitch. The stitches would remain same. At the end of this round we have 10 single crochets. Okay, round 2 ends. Chain 1 to begin the next round. Turn the work. This time again as you can see I have two loops on this stitch. We will work in back loop. One single crochet into the next. One into the next. So every time as you needed length you will have 10 single crochets. That means the starting crochets would be the last round stitches count would be the same as you can see one single crochet in every stitch as you can see but in back loops only I will crochet a few more rounds and then I will show you how it looks I'm done with 10 rounds so this is how this single crochet rib stitch looks as you can see the beauty and the quality of this ribbing stitch is that it is very stretchable so you can use it for bodice to start the sweaters cardigans or any clothes or any cap so it looks very beautiful so now I will show you the next one that is half double crochet ribbing we will start with a slip knot chain 11 work one half double crochet into the third stitch and this is how i will work one half double crochet into every stitch round two starts with chain two as you know that chain two is substitute to a half double crochet yarn over go into this next stitch because this will substitute the first stitch so i will work into the next stitch insert the hook into the back loop of this half double crochet and pull it through all the loops together this is a half double crochet stitch again yarn over go into the next stitch but in back loop go into the next stitch in the back loop of the stitch pull up a loop and pull it through all the loops together this is how i will work one half double crochet into each stitch i will show you one more round and then i will show you the end after making 10 rounds don't forget to work into this last stitch chain 2 to begin the next round yarn over you will not work in these stitches as you can see you look two loops here but your stitches that this is the upside and you can see this is the stitch actual stitch don't confuse with this side to this you will identify that this is the stitch the top side of the half double crochet these are your stitches you will work yarn over just identify your stitch identify the back loop insert the hook into it pull up a loop and pull it through all the loops together this is how i will work in rounds and rounds and then i will show you my 10 rounds are completed so as you can see my half double crochet ribbing is also completed you can see 
both the pieces have ten rounds but the length is different because the uh, because we chose the different stitches this is a single crochet ribbing and this is a half double crochet ribbing so now I am going to show you the double crochet ribbing stitch so for this again we work stitches and then one single crochet into uh, one double crochet into every stitch now I will tell you how to crochet the double crochet ribbing chain 3 to begin the round just turn the work identify the stitch yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop pull it through two and pull it through two so this is how i will work one double crochet in every stitch but in back loops so keep it in mind that you are working in back loops only i am telling you all the uh, stitches ribbing because when you choose your project you will need to choose the ribbing according to your project so please keep it in mind and identify differences between these stitches and their ribbing method ok yarn over go into this last stitch and work a double crochet so as you can see how it looks so it's stretchable and it looks cute its shape is very different so I will tell you and I will show you the end result double crochet ribbing stitch is also ready as you can see this is how it looks it's uh, absolutely different from rounds and rounds of uh, simple double crochet so I hope you can easily found out how it will be crocheted so I hope you have enjoyed my video Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to sub subscribe and don't forget to like, share and I hope you will like it. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much.